hello everyone today we have another battle video and in this game in this video i'll be using uh, blue purple crocodile going up against edward newgate white beard so right now the meta game in singapore is mostly uh, favored towards red so i decided to test it out see how well blue purple crocodile can do against uh, white beard so right now um, we're just setting up and I went first. So going first, I played Hannibal, uh, which allows me to uh, search my top five cards for a purple impel down card. So I, yeah, the main target is to find this uh, stage card, impel down stage card, and then I pass to White Beard Stern, and he played the Moby Dick, which is a really strong stage card for the White Beard Pirates. So and then he passed on to me. And I attach one Dawn to Crocodile and attacked him, attacked the leader and paid one and yeah, I played the Imperon stage. So right now, um, for Whitebeard, every, at the end of every, at the end of his turn, he'll have to add the top card of his life back into his hand. So the life difference uh, is not really uh huge like usually when you're playing a dual leader you'll be at the back hand because you are starting out with four life but against white beard it is not really uh, it doesn't really affect much and here we have white beard with seven thousand attacking to my crocodile so i use gum gum rain to discard one card and increase my leaders uh attack by five thousand and because i had four cards or less the crocodile leader skills activates and it allows me to draw a card so now i attempt to use the impair down stage discarding king right now king is not as useful so the impair down stage allows me to discard one card and then check the top three cards for an impel down card which i went ended up going up ended up going with luffy so with five dawns what am i gonna do uh, i believe i attach four dawns yeah four dawns into hannibal attacking to leader and i believe oh he took the damage and another six thousand into leader and he blocks it with marco ah uh, no so right now he is at three life while i'm at four and he decides to clear my hannibal and he plays King Dew for 5 so it's back to my turn I believe I'm at 7 Dawn so I can play the Impair Down boss monsters which is I believe I'll be playing Ivankov yep 7 Dawns to play Ivankov and Luffy so Ivankov allows me to draw up to 3 cards in my hand and it allows me to play a blue Impair Down character with six costs or lower and i pass over to his turn not being able to attack due to six thousand at uh due to white beard having six thousand attack so he attacks my leader and i blocked it with cd chan and he plays marco for four dawns and a Bartolomeo and with that I believe he passed his turn adding another life back to his hand so now he's at one life while I'm at three and let's see what I do next okay I activate the impel down stage discarding Luffy because I don't need it anymore and I decided to add um, Impel Down because um, I'll be discarding it using Luffy's ability because uh, right now it's no longer useful because I've already uh, gotten the cards I need. So right now I'm just deciding um, who I'm going to attack. So that is 9000 Luffy into I believe his leader. Uh, no, I decided to attack King Dew but he blocked it and I used Luffy's ability to discard two cards and bounce Marco back to hand. 6,000 into the leader. I believe um, the proper play for, for this is to clear his King Dew to ensure that he has no character on board. 
So the proper play should have been um, attaching two dons into Crocodile and then trying to swing into his King Dew. And yeah, I did another misplay. I should have cleared his King Dew instead of attacking for life because he'll be at zero either way next turn. And I pass over to his turn. He's at nine. He plays Edward Newgate, increasing his leader's attack by 2000, even during my turn. So right now, Edward Newgate is at 10,000 attack, attacking to my Luffy. Uh, because he's at zero life, uh, Moby Dick stage activates, meaning all his white beard cards and Edward Newgate plus 2000. So Edward Newgate is 10,000, attacking to Luffy, and I use um, Hell's Judgment to target two characters and leader, minus 3000 and minusing one Dawn. So I targeted Edward Newgate which is now I believe 7,000 and I use 2,000 to guard it and because I had 4 cards uh, or less in my hand um, Crocodile Scale allows me to draw 1 card so he passed over but yeah he said he wanted to attack the leader so yeah it's 6,000 attacking the leader I guard it with 2k yeah and he passed over to my turn I draw so right now Whitebeard is at 8,000. I was thinking of um, attaching all my Dawns into um, into my Ivankov to swing for game. But I believe it's not... What I felt was it was not um, efficient because he just needed 10k. So I decided to play a more safer approach which is to uh, slowly reduce his hand by attacking into his King Dew to make sure he wastes his hand and then go for game next turn so 7000 into King Dew King Dew, yeah I believe he guards it with Marco 1000 and then I, yeah the the play which I mentioned earlier to attack using Crocodile with two Dawns which I believe I ended up going with it and yeah 7,000 and he decides not to guard it and let it go and I attach um, 5 dons I attach 5 dons in, onto Ivankov and swing at the leader so right now Ivankov uh, is at 12k and Whitebeard is at 8k so he needs a 6k guard and which he used um, Radical Beam increasing its defense by 4,000 so he's at 12,000 so he just needs uh, additional 1,000 guard yeah, so what I did here is I managed to reduce his resources from hand by forcing him to guard so next turn I can just go for the kill and yeah I paid 3 down to play Miss All Sunday Miss All Sunday is good in this deck because it can help you to retrieve your um, your events and it's also a blocker so Right now, he attaches 2 Dawn onto Edward Newgate. And on attack, if he has 2 Dawn, he can KO one of our opponent's character with 3000 or less. So he decides to KO Miss All Sunday and attack into my Luffy. So on KO, I added uh, Hell's Judgment. But because I have no Dawns to play, it will just be in my hand. And I believe he attaches a Dawn. So White. White bait is at 9,000 attacking to my Ivankov and which I played Gomu Gomu uh, Rain, Gum Gum Rain to protect my Ivankov and because I have, I had no cards in hand, I can draw one card thanks to Crocodile's ability. So what he should do, he should have committed to maybe one more Dawn onto White bait to get rid of, to get rid of my Ivankov and with that I believe okay so he uses a white beard pirates event card so if he manages to get uh, ace here it will help him a lot because ace can just help to clear the Ivankov wait okay even if he got the ace he wouldn't have enough dawn to play it so right now what he needs is a blocker which he didn't get he added squad into his hand Okay, oh, okay, he got a V star, so it's a 1k counter and he passes it over to me. Yeah, I believe he doesn't have any more blockers. 
Okay, so it's my turn. Okay. Ah, yeah, during the game, I believe he was showing me his hand, but I didn't see his hand. So I didn't know what was in his hand. So right now, I was thinking um, to play it safely, but I remember that white beard is at 6,000 right now. So I just put everything into my Ivankov and swing for 17,000, which he was unable to cut. So that's game. And yeah, that's all for today's video. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, do consider giving me a subscribe and liking the video. And I will try to put up more content like this in the future. As for the blue purple crocodile deck list, I'll be uploading it next week. So um, that's something for you to look out for. And yeah, once again, thank you for watching the video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.